Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow travelers. Oblix here, back with you today from FTB Revelation. How y'all doing today, folks? So, last time we worked on what? Something down here. Yeah, drums and harvesting and things of that nature. This time, guys, I'm going to need a lot of pedals to make the Kakerator. I'm going to need all the pedals to make the Kakerator. So I want to automate pedal production. And I think we're going to do it back behind the factory because we're getting a little bit cramped in here. Uh, I've got a little spot picked out I think will work just fine. Uh, we are going to need to make a Jaded Amaranthus. So let's see what this guy's going to take. Some purple, some lime green, some green. A spring and a root. Alright, so do I have... No. Can I make? Yes. Purple, a lime green, and a green. Yes. Yes, I can. So, there's two of those. Two of those, and two of them's. But I only need one of each, so we'll just put the rest in here. And I need Rune of Spring, which is a fire and a water, because I have no spring. So there's a water and a fire. And we'll need one of those. And what else? We need a root. Saplings and wheat. So let's go down here and get what we need to get. Alright, we're going to need a root. And we're going to need saplings. Three of them. And we're going to need some wheat. Excellent. Oh, you know what else I need? I need a living rock. Alright, bucket of water. Fill. Belly up to the bar. I'm going to put this and that and that. Oh, and we needed the root. So we'll get that in there. Now let's go make our uh, dealy bopper of spring. We got some mana to work with. We do. And we're going to need this and this and this. That and that and that. And one and two and three. And we're getting the mana flow. I forgot I set this up so I could just drop everything from here and it'd be fine. Oh, did I tell that? Don't be harvesting that. Oh, I have a spring. Look at that. I must have been craved in earlier. Alright, we'll put those in there. Put the rune of mana in there. Put one of the runes of spring in there. Rune of spring and bam. Jaded Amaranthus. Phantasmo. He's almost done. We should probably go ahead and just let him finish. gather these guys up because why wouldn't you there we go all right so we're 
we've got our jaded amaranthus what else do we need could use some hopper hawks uh, we will need to move our mana production over or do we just make some more uh, let's go ahead and just make a couple more brown brown red yeah brown brown red gray seeds bucket of water in you go one of those one of those two of those one of those now with an water in there and an empty hand I can just right click and it'll refill it again but it doesn't put the seed in you have to do that yourself so there's two endo flame fantastic So let's see, do we have a spreader? I think I have one out here, don't I? Oh, that's a redstone one. That's all right. We will come over here where we're gonna build this thing. I'm thinking this little space right here. I have cleared out a spot for the cakerator all right in here. Uh, there was a big old hill here I tore down. I guess it wasn't that big, but three or four or five blocks tall, something like that. But our, our uh, drill here makes short work of that kind of stuff. Uh, I want to go with the let's go with the Elven spreader. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna need some living, and I don't know if I'm gonna need two or one. Let's make two just to be safe. Okay, so we need to firstly produce mana. So that's the A number one. So, boom. Then we need to collect this mana in a mana pool. Boom. And what we'll do is stick a spreader here, which should bind to both of those flowers. Why can't I? There we go. Thank you. How hard was that? There we go. There we go. Bound, bound, fantastic. So now we need a way to feed this delicious material. Uh, so let's get a couple of open crates. Very much like two of these, please. Let's make a stack of that. And let's do what kind of chest options do we have? I'm looking for a, I want a small chest. I don't want it to be very big. Mini chest will work perfectly. Because it has one slot, which is perfect for our needs. 
So, we will then... No, no. There we go. Alright, I'm tired of listening to that, so let's change that. Whoop, whoop, done. There we go. And actually, let's get some conduit. We could do this 100% Britannia, right? But we're not going to. We could set up a corporeal network over here and make all this happen, but I think we're just going to do it this way for now. See that cute little tiny chest with only one fly? So cute. Okay, and but it still connects to everything. So we want to extract, we want to round robin, and we want to go. And with these we want to be insert. Insert. And round robin should just say put one here, put one there, put one here, put one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now if I come back and I get some coal, and load her up, nice. I was going to say, why are these not burning the coal? So we're obviously going to have to slow this down quite a bit. So we want to do an active with signal. And make an hourglass. Let's get some sand. I don't know how much we'll need yet. And let's go ahead and make another mana spreader while we're here. Just in case we need one. Now what we'll do is put in maybe... 16 then it, every time that flips it should pulse hopefully it's enough to send this otherwise I may have to put in a yeah, I may have to put in a repeater Come on. Hmm. I think it's not lasting long enough. These are a one tick pulse. What if I mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if I put a block there? Yeah. No. Okay. What if? Put a block there. And put you here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go back to sixteen. Yeah. 
is that going to be enough? It no look like it. One more chance. All right. Yeah, I think that. I think it's not lasting. The pulse isn't lasting long enough. I don't have any repeaters. Come on now. get its attention. And let's do 15. We want to see these little guys light up to make sure it is in fact going through there. Give it a longer pulse. Active with signal. That worked. Yeah, that's definitely working. Now we probably need to slow that down a little bit. Let's give it another 15. And we'll lock it. flower farm in here. So let's put our amaranthus right in line. Kind of centered on everything. It's definitely not close enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that close enough? Seven. Let us find out. here four five six that got it and you can see it already doing its job planting flowers how nice Now, we're planting them, we need to harvest them. And I already showed you how to do that. Using one of thems, one of thems, one of thems, and one of thems. And 
let's head back over here. How'd you get out, you little devil? So, we want the pulse mana spreader there. Floating Hopper Hawk here. Now I think I threw my monocle away, but I want to see the range of that Hopper Hawk, so let's go in here and see. Uh, there it is, and let's get a chest while we're here. Drum on top of the hopper hawk. A chest we will put on the back back here. We'll line this guy up with this guy. And then we will put a clock on it get some sand tell you what let's get some soul well yeah let's get soul sand because I think it's every minute of soul sand Yeah, there we go. See, that moves much slower. So sand processes like, you know, every piece of sand is X number per tick or whatever. But uh, the soul sand processes much slower, which will give the amaranthus much more time to produce flowers, which is a good. So we're about halfway done now. Really? Hi. You let me on fire, turd. Dummy. Nice. And it looks like our hopper hawk picked everything up, which is exactly what we wanted. But let's double check our distance on this guy. Oh yeah. Wow. Holy cripes, he goes all the way into the bunny pen. Yeah, he's got some serious range on him. That could cause us issues. Hmm. Hmm. Aw, sorry chicken. Yeah, that could definitely cause us some issues. And notice it didn't harvest everything in one go. It harvested about half. So we could definitely afford to speed up the process a little bit. Yeah, problem is when it kills these bunnies, I don't want I want that guy picking up the bits, not this guy picking up the bits. So I gotta think how I wanna control that. I think what we'll do is switch from a hopper hawk to let's see. 
don't think we have item collectors in here. We don't have random things. Yeah, so we're going to need to go with a vacuum. Uh, vacuum. Chest. And these are pretty cool. And you can better control the the distance at which it sucks things up. The only thing it only major concern is it really needs um, a good line of sight to the material or it will have issues. So we could put it here. Aw, poor bunny. So we've got a range of six. Let's show the range. We could probably dial that back a little bit. And right now it is covering the entire area. And you see it sucked all the bits and bobs up just fine. So I think that'll work. Great. Phantasmo. So now we need to get these out of here, process them into petals, and we can also process them into dyes as well. So to do that, I think. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go underground because I have to go underground anyway. I've got to bring uh, coal up to this to keep him full. It looks like I can slow this down just a little bit. Uh, and I need to get these materials back into the house anyway. So... We're gonna just take this down here. And I tell you what, let me mark the corners of this place. So I will dig a little room to the size of these corners down here. I need to go one, two, three back. That's one, two, three, back. Now if I go this way, I should see the hole. There it is. There we go. Okay. So we need to get the material out of there and down here. So I think we'll just dig a hole right here. Like a so. And we will run. Adam Conduit out of there. Now that is going to make things not get sucked up on the back. Hmm. Okay, that didn't cause us any problems, so that'll work. Say extract always. little buffer chest right here so that the items no that's not what I wanted I wanted that uh, where's my jetpack give me uh, this should be insert so they should all be moving down here great Let's go over here. And we 
don't need you. We don't need you. We definitely don't need you. But we are going to need a crafter. I think I would rather stick with my analog crafters. There we go. Let's get two of these. That's roots. I'm sure I don't have one yet. Let's um water and pestle from Batania. storage drawers for these. We want the two by twos and I'll do them in spruce. Because it is my favorite. It's a one by two, two by two. All right, so we're gonna put a crafter here and one here. No. Decide hmm. You know what? I could do it right here like this. Put one there. One there. And then I need a block. Maybe something different. Okay. And then the lever lever goes on the block. Like a soul. And let's see. This guy will be in insert mode. This guy will be on insert mode. This guy will, hello, bits dropping down. Uh, this guy will be extract. Mm, I don't want these inserting yet, so let me turn insert off. I want this guy to extract with without signal I want this guy to extract with signal so I got a with signal and a without signal so this will act as a toggle flipping between the two yeah 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 and then this guy I can close off all the other ports, and that's why I like these analog crafters. Uh, let's go to A. I can put the mortar and pestle in. And I think I have to say sticky. No, I can't remember. I don't remember if it'll suck the mortar and pestle out. It might. No, it won't. So this, I can set to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can put the controller down. Just put it right there. And then we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You know what? I should probably just do it in a row of two. It'll make sense in a minute. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Where's my number sixteen? Where'd it go? H hello? H hello? H hello? Nope. Can I get that up there? Nope. Oh well. Oh, there it is. Could I have? Could I? Could could could? Could I have, please? Thank you. There we go. Now I can take these and go. Boom and a bam, and a bam and a bam and a bam, and do insert. Extract always. I'm gonna hold off on this one because I don't want it sucking out the pestle. And let's go over here. Get a filter, which I do not have. So a fill whoa 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 whoa. Filter. There we go. Uh, basic is fine. Yeah, okay, let's actually take the mortar and pestle. We're gonna say blacklist mortar and pestle. On the extract side, always active. Now we can put the mortar and pestle in, and it won't get sucked out. Fantastic! So I think we're good. So we've got a bunch of plants here. We can start processing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. This is good. Now I want to take my key. We're going to start processing petals because that's what we need first. And I think I want the petals on the top row. Right? There's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 different types of flowers. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we actually don't need that many. You know what? I did want the one by twos, not the two by twos. Duh. Well, crappers. Uh, anybody need some two by two drawers? I'll sell them to you cheap. Let's see. Draw and. Let's go with uh, the spruce. One by two. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And that's two extra. There we go. Sixteen. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. So what that's going to let me do is process these guys into petals through this crafter. They're going to show up in here. It's going to process it into a petal and send it down into the controller. It's going to fill up all these drawers. 
Then I can come over here and flip this lever. It'll turn that one off and turn this one on, and it'll start processing uh, the flower with... Is it the flower? No, it's not the flower. Crappers, it's the petal I need to process. Dang it, Bobby. Man, I am losing my touch. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. We, we're gonna. We, it's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so the question is, do I want it to go into there, or do I want it to go into? Huh. Okay. 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 Man, I am like totally screwing this up. What the heck's wrong with me? Okay. So, analog crafter. I like having it there. That's fine. So, for this, we just want to turn everything into petals. And we can, no reason we can't start doing that now. Extract always insert. So it starts taking all the whites, it'll turn them into petals. Fantastic. Now to get them in here, we just want to shoot it across. But, at some point along the way, we need to make a decision on if we want to craft again or not. So we will do that right here. And I will need another chest. I don't actually need that chest, uh, to be fair. That's just buffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, that guy's got plenty of buffer, so let's take this chest out altogether. And make a horrific mess. put these plants up here yeah and it's pulled all the white so that's why there's no white in there cool Over time. Chest. No. No, 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 no. No. Get your head in the game. Oblix, stop being a goofball. There. There, there, then we go there, and there, yeah, 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 that's going to lead us into another crafter, which is always on. Awesome. Pestle. Well, yeah, pestle goes in there because we already have it in the filter. Let's just verify our filter. Yep, it's there. And then these can just meet up there. And what we'll say is do not extract pestle, but always be active. And then this can go. Yeah, okay, so this is going to be extract active without signal. This is going to be extract active with signal. 
and then this will be our signal controller and then of course this will be insert he's extract always he needs to be insert he needs to be insert and he can be extract always so that'll pull him here they're going to go straight into here because of the way this lever is switched right now. So everyone it's pulling is just going straight into here as a pedal, which is cool. So what I want to let it do is process the entirety of this guy up here as he stands right now. I'm just going to let him run through all this. Uh, and that way we'll have some pedals for each flower in our storage drawers here. Then I'll flip the lever and let it process another batch, but it's going to send it up here. It's not going to go this way, it's going to go this way and into this crafter where that pedal is going to be processed with the mortar and pestle turned into a die. At that point I'll lock these drawers, I'll unlock these drawers, and the dies will all flow into here. And then we'll get one of each die outstanding uh, and then I can connect all this up to the house so I'm gonna leave this off for now because I don't want it processing more. I don't want this guy growing more flowers until all these process I guess I will let it sit here and process in the meantime I'm gonna start working on getting some uh, uh, refined storage cable over here it may come in right here from that cable right there but uh, let me get that, let this process, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to flip over to uh, dies. All right, guys, it's finished processing, and I've done some cleaning up down there. Set us an elevator, got rid of the janky stairway. Didn't bother decorating it, because we're not really going to be down here. Did put a terminal in here, and ran our refined storage cable. Uh, all the way down here and underneath so it does connect to that controller so all of these pedals now will show up in our refined storage system ain't that beautiful so and then I also connected our uh, coal mini chest uh, to our refined storage system with an exporter, so it's just going to pump coal into here always. Uh, so let's set this guy to start uh, processing petals into dye. And the way we're going to do that is use our key right here. We're going to go ahead and lock all these drawers so that they're locked to those petals. We're going to unlock all of these drawers. So they'll be free to accept uh, all the dies. Now, one thing I do want to show you is I did uh, set on this guy right here, the external storage, I did set him to extract only. So if we put new petals into our refined storage system, they're going to go into the storage, onto the disks of the refined storage system, not over here. Uh, I could have had them go over here, but what I, w I wanted to uh, keep it so this is just a processing center, right? Uh, so I think that will work for us. Now we're just going to throw this lever, and that should flip-flop these two. So now when the pedals hit here, they should come up, get crafted here, and then go back down and start filling out here as die. So let's go get this guy producing again. I just shut him down right here. And I think we wanted him active with a signal. So once this guy finishes his spill, we should get some coal. There it goes. Okay. Just needed a little jump start, I guess. Now he's starting to plant again. He's going to pulse here in just a second. Boom, he sucks up the bits and bobs. They should be downstairs getting processed in a minute. 
So orange is getting processed. And you see him going up here and turning into orange dye. Now we're going to get some gray dye and some white dye. How cool is that? And you can use these just like regular old dyes. And what I do like to do is keep them in the same pattern. Is that green or lime green? That was green. Uh, just in case I come down here you know, looking for things, I find them easily. We're waiting on the next pulse. Oh, that's a good one. That'll be a good batch. Any second now, this should process. And... Bango! So we're getting a good batch processing. Awesome. Look at that. Beautimus. Black is in the right spot. Brown is in the wrong spot. You go here. Yellow goes here. So once I get them all sorted the way I wanted them, then I'll just lock all the drawers and we're good to go. If I want more dye, I keep the lever down. If I want more petals, I put the dye the uh, lever up. And I should probably make a sign that says that. That'll be dyes. Perfect. Which is counterintuitive because it's like pointing down, but that's the pedal. Whatever. Oh my goodness, it's processed a whole bunch. Um, red does not go there, red goes here. But I do think that is going to do it for this episode. I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me, as always. And until next time, you guys get out there and make some noise. See ya.